it is Jazz here. The topic for today is kind of weird, but what can I say? I was not inspired by anything normal for filling today, so this is the video that I hope you guys will enjoy, maybe. And I'm going to entitle it something like Five Weird Bookish Things That Have Kept Me Awake at Night. I've noticed over the past couple of weeks that there have been more than a few times where bookish things have literally kept me from going to sleep. And I already go to sleep really late, like 2 a.m., but you know, these things have kept me up well past 2 a.m. And it made me think about past times that certain things had kept me awake that had to do with books. So I thought I would make a list. I'm, of course, not including on this list the fact that when you're reading a really exciting book or a book that's really interesting to you, you might stay up all night reading it. I'm talking about, like, the really weird stuff that keeps me up. Without further ado, let's actually jump into the list. Number one is the fact that I do love reading parts of books that I really Really enjoy out loud and like acting them out to myself now because I have inserted the book excerpt thing back onto this channel I actually have an excuse for doing this now because I do need to like practice those things before I go and film a video of me reading a book excerpt but I kid you not in the past like I have just done that for the sake of doing it, like just cause I like that portion of the book and I will literally be up laying in the dark, just like reciting parts of books. The second bookish thing kind of feeds off the first thing and it's the fact that a week or so ago I was up late at night and I randomly just felt like working on a Shakespeare monologue. No reason, just felt like it. Actually, I do think the reason had to do that I was watching like a ton of TED Talks about Shakespeare, <laughs> and that probably could have fed this. Also, I suddenly through that got really, really afraid that I was going to forget everything that I learned in like a Shakespeare intensive that I took a couple of summers ago, and I was like, I don't wanna forget that stuff, because that was a lot of interesting work and it did help me understand Shakespeare better so I was like just for the fact of like renewing stuff you know I'm just gonna break down a monologue by Kate in The Taming of the Shrew and just see how that goes so I started doing that and then all of a sudden for like two nights in a row I was like wait it's 4 a.m. it was still great fun I think I'm gonna stick with working on that if I get brave enough I might read one for you it's gonna take a lot of bravery and encouragement, so uh, we'll see about that. And also watching videos about Shakespeare. That will randomly keep me up at night as, too, as well. The third thing that occasionally keeps me up is something to do with audiobooks. Just finishing an audiobook, like if you get kind of near the end of an audiobook and you see that there are only like maybe three more hours left in the book you're like might as well just finish this book and get it done so then you end up staying up late i think that's super fun especially if it's a good book and also you can like color or like do a craft or you know do whatever you want while just chilling to your audiobook so i think that one's actually not too weird i also stay up late with an audiobook if I'm trying to get to like the end of a longer chapter because you want to get to like that good stopping point before you go to sleep. The fourth bookish thing that will keep me awake at night is reading a book that is like part of a series that has just been released that I'm really excited about and that I don't want to get spoiled on. It's like, it's really easy to go up on the internet and spoil the heck out of yourself. And thus, with those books, I found that sometimes it's just easier until all the hype peters out to just burn through that book as fast as you possibly can. Just read it all night. Just get it done. Case in point, this definitely happened when the final book in the Twilight series, Breaking Dawn, was released. I did actually let my mom read it first, but then while she was reading it, for the couple of days that she was reading it, I had to like completely like avoid things on the internet. When mom finished it and it finally got in my hands, I just stayed up all night reading this book. Luckily, it's a fast read and just like burned through it so that the next day I could, you know, 
relatively go back on the internet and not be spoiled. The fifth and final bookish thing that has occasionally kept me up all night is a disturbing ending. So I will never forget when I finished the book Pet Cemetery late at night and it wasn't that the book was scary it was just like the lead up to the end is so like crazy and like so well like built that it was like getting me hyped up and then the way it ended was one of those Stephen King ambiguous evil never dies kind of endings and I was like I'm disturbed by that so I closed the book late at night and I was like I can't stop thinking about this I was like up for like at least an extra couple hours just going really it's still a really excellent book with a really cool dramatic build and also a ending that I understand what he was trying to do with like I understand where he was going with it I just wish it hadn't kept me up past my bedtime <laughs> while setting up to film this I actually also thought of like kind of an odd bonus kind of thing that has kept me awake in the past and it's not really like an overall thing it's like a particular book series and for some reason every single time I read a book in the Millennium Trilogy aka the girl with the dragon tattoo books I could not sleep during the time that it was reading those books very well like and it had nothing to do with the content in it because I've definitely read some like crazy content right before I went to sleep and had no problem with it but something about those books just like kept me up now granted the third book I was sick and I was probably up because I was sick but the other two don't get it I think I made a video about how they cause sleeplessness for me so that's my bonus those were the five and bonus weird bookish things that keep me up at night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it was kind of a weird subject matter and I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I will see you all on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Bye!